Imagine a safe, its heavy steel door secured with a complex combination lock. You might think the only way to crack it is by guessing the right numbers. However, what if you could listen closely to the tumblers as they turn, or feel the subtle vibrations of the lock mechanism? This is the essence of a side channel attack, a clever technique that targets the unintentional information leakage from a system rather than directly attacking its security mechanisms. In the world of computers and digital systems, side channel attacks exploit the physical phenomena that occur during computation or data transmission. These phenomena, like electromagnetic emissions, power consumption variations, or even the time it takes to perform an operation, can leak sensitive information to a watchful adversary. The danger of side channel attacks lies in their ability to bypass traditional security measures. While firewalls and encryption algorithms guard the front door, these attacks sneak in through the side windows, exploiting subtle, often overlooked vulnerabilities. This essay delves into the fascinating world of side channel attacks, exploring the various types and the ingenious ways attackers exploit them. We'll also discuss practical prevention methods, offering insights into how we can build more secure and resilient systems. Electromagnetic, or EM, side channel attacks are like eavesdropping on a conversation without ever being in the room. Electronic devices emit electromagnetic radiation as they operate, and this radiation can carry faint whispers of the data being processed. By analyzing these EM emanations, attackers can potentially recover encryption keys, passwords, or other sensitive information. Think of a credit card reader. As it processes your card, it emits EM signals that correlate to the data being transmitted. A sophisticated attacker with the right equipment could potentially capture these signals and reconstruct your credit card information. Acoustic attacks, on the other hand, exploit sound waves. While less common than EM attacks, they can be surprisingly effective. Some computer components, like hard drives and CPUs, produce distinct sounds during certain operations. By analyzing these acoustic patterns, attackers can glean information about the data being processed. Imagine a scenario where an attacker installs malware on a victim's computer. This malware, in turn, instructs the hard drive to access specific sectors in a particular sequence, generating a unique acoustic signature. By listening to these sounds, the attacker can potentially extract sensitive data from the hard drive. These examples highlight the ingenuity of side-channel attacks and the importance of considering even the most subtle physical phenomena when designing secure systems. Power analysis attacks exploit the fact that the power consumption of a device varies depending on the instructions it executes and the data it processes. By monitoring these subtle power fluctuations, attackers can potentially extract sensitive information, such as cryptographic keys. Imagine a simple scenario where a device uses a different amount of power to multiply by one than it does to multiply by zero. By observing the power consumption during a cryptographic operation, an attacker could potentially deduce the secret key being used. Optical attacks, as the name suggests, involve capturing and analyzing light emitted from a device. This light could be emitted from LEDs, displays, or even the faint glow of transistors during operation. By analyzing the intensity and patterns of this light, attackers can potentially extract sensitive information. Consider a scenario where a device's LED blinks differently, depending on whether it's processing a zero or a one. An attacker could potentially record and analyze these blinks to extract secret information. These attacks demonstrate the wide range of physical phenomena that can be exploited in side-channel attacks, highlighting the need for comprehensive security measures that address both digital and physical vulnerabilities.